Hi, my name is Somia Nechubaili, and I am going to be talking about my exhibition at Part 2 Gallery opening this March called I Wake to Sleep. The title of the show, I Wake to Sleep, comes from a Theodor Rothka poem called The Waking. He wrote it in 1953. This poem for me speaks to some enigmatic paradoxes in life, but also of enlightenment and self-discovery. Things that have come into sharper focus, I think, in this last year, not just for me, but for, for everybody. The body of work in this show is very much rooted in my experience of nature. I've been an avid hiker and engaging with nature during those walks, engaging with my own sensory experience of what I am seeing and hearing and smelling, uh, you know, has kind of I guess woken me up to to just this amazing energy and, and ephemeral nature of, of everything around me. I wanted to bring that back into the studio. I wanted to find a way to channel that engagement that I had with nature and connect it to my, to my engagement with paint. So inside the studio I really began pushing automatic forms that began to emerge. The forms, you know, sort of allude to plant life um, as well as bodies, actually. I started exploring centralized compositions and, um, you know, they echo sort of a mountain form but also an arrangement, like a flower arrangement. These compositions um, became amalgamations, strange and alien. Um, but kind of connected to actual forms one might find in nature. As I paint though, I don't, I'm not looking at anything. I'm just inventing these, these things. At one point I started to realize they reminded me of Kato in, in terms of how the, the arrangements were presented. Uh, Kato arrangements often address ideas of good and evil fortune. Plants are given codes and passwords and the arrangement is like meant to convey emotions and communicate directly to the viewer without the need of words and I think these paintings there's six of them in the show and they have these centralized compositions and of all sorts of botanic forms they really started to speak to me like a kato would in the painting the gardeners uh, the composition is really different it was the first step away from what I had been doing with the Kato paintings and the, that series of work. The painting, you know, sort of started out with that centralized composition of forms, but then all of a sudden I just kept coming back to it and adding more and more paint. Eventually I decided to add two little figures in there who are completely smothered in this environment of sort of plant forms. I felt myself um, like needing to make the entire surface of the canvas be taken over by these forms rather than having them just be in a, you know in a space or contained space on the canvas. The gardener's painting definitely led to these four larger canvases. In these canvases I, I was definitely exploring this idea of of the larger space of my journey through space, an emotionally charged experience through a garden, um, in this case a particular garden. My uncle, um, who passed away a few years ago, after he had passed I had, um, I had the pleasure of, of walking through this, this amazing garden he had created at the back of his house. And, um, you know, being in that space, feeling his presence and feeling the energy of, of someone who's not even with me anymore, but um, was maybe, you know, still there in between all these, all, you know, these gorgeous foliage of flowers and leaves and plants. Um, I think that was really something that I kept thinking about when I was making these paintings. And I do feel like they're sort of an homage to him. After creating much of the work in this space and sitting with it and dwelling on it, I started recalling the lines from this poem, The Waking. And then, you know, one day I realized I just needed to connect the poem to the work. 
somehow. So I decided to title the show I Wake to Sleep. <laughs>